our hateful liberal of the week managed to get himself kicked out of and permanently banned from a country a couple of days ago. Now, I thought I had seen everything when it came to these insane leftists. But every time I think I've seen everything, one of them manages to come up with something even more outrageous, more egregious, more bottom of the barrel, and more insane than the last time. This man, Matty Healy, who's our hateful liberal of the week, was performing in Malaysia at a festival, a music festival, known as the Good Vibes Festival. But he certainly brought anything but good vibes to this festival. As a matter of fact, not only did he and his band get banned from Malaysia permanently, but they got the entire festival shut down which means that none of the other artists who were scheduled to perform were able to do so thanks to this guy. The festival ended up losing money, revenues, because of him, and all because he decided to travel there. And knowing that Homosexuality, homosexual acts, relationships, marriages, all that stuff is illegal in Malaysia. It's a crime punishable with prison time in Malaysia. Now, this is something that I did not know myself, but he did. And he still traveled to the country and pulled this leftist stunt anyway. He stood on stage and claimed to be so furious about Malaysia's so-called anti-LGBTQ laws that he went on a profane, expletive-filled, hate-filled rant while on stage directed at the people of Malaysia, their government, their religious beliefs, their culture, and their laws. This guy is so entitled that he apparently thought that he could get away with doing something like this in a country where he was a foreigner they let him come into their country and he disrespected them like this. He decided he was going to attempt to spew his pro LGBTQ propaganda and it backfired on him in a major, major way. In the end, he and the rest of his band got kicked out of the country permanently and told never to come back. And they also will not be able to perform in either Indonesia or Taiwan either, as they were planning. Those shows have been canceled too. And this is just what happens when you want to act like a hateful liberal in another country. So... These are just some of the things that he said to the people, the concert goers, during his set. And I'm not even going to repeat it. Well, at least not, not the profanity, anyway. During the 1975 set on June 21st, he told the crowd, I made a mistake. When we were booking shows, I wasn't looking into it. I don't see the point, right? I don't see the point of inviting us to Malaysia and then telling us who we can do it with. He continued, I'm sorry if that offends you and you're religious and it's part of your government, 
But your government are a bunch of... I'm not going to repeat that. And I don't care anymore. If you push, I'm going to push back. I am not in the mood. Well, it never occurred to him that maybe they weren't in the mood to have to listen to him spewing his hate-filled pro-LGBTQ propaganda in their country either. With these people, it's always all about them. Couldn't have cared less what any of the people who were at the festival thought. So it continues. Unfortunately, you don't get a set of loads of uplifting songs because I'm furious about Malaysia's so-called anti-gay laws. And that's not fair to you because you're not representative of your government because you are young people. And I'm sure a lot of you are gay and progressive and cool. I don't even want to go there. So I pulled the show yesterday and we had a conversation and we said, you know what? We can't let these kids down because they are not the problem. And there was a lot of profanity in those quotes that I deliberately did not repeat because I didn't want to get this video taken down by any social media channels. So I just let it out. And then he shared a homosexual kiss with one of the other members of his band on stage in order to drive the point home that he has no respect for Malaysia's culture, rules, the laws, the norms, their customs, or any part of their belief system as a whole. No respect whatsoever. Just like a hateful liberal to do something like this and think that you are the one in the right here. So this is why Maddie Healy is our hateful liberal of the week.